Okay, we still been out performing, but um, we have several donors who make donations um, that are based on how much money the Student Investment Fund makes. And so today, two of our major investors, D.A. Davidson and Hal Milner, gave us donations that have to do with our great performance last year. The S&P was up about 14% over the time last year students managed uh, the fund, and our fund returned 28%. And so our share of the profits from that, from our donors, was over $25,000. Well, this is a celebration, reception, uh, about money that students have done very well with their investments. Uh, this is a, just recognition of that. I have a deal with a student fund that uh, each year, depending on how much they gain, if they gain, we sort of share the gains. If they lose, I eat it. It's not a very good deal for me, but I do it. It's fun. And they've had a very good year, and they're celebrating it. Very good. It's, the funds work amazingly well. I started this in March of 2006. The then dean convinced me that they need more money and so I decided to do it. So then rather than taking what my share out of the fund, I just contributed on the side the same amount. And we left the $50,000 in there with no money coming, no new money coming in and nothing coming out. Today, it's about 220,000. So that's 13 years, 13 years going from 50,000 to 220, not bad. That's probably an internal rate of return of around 11 or 12% a year, which is a lot better than a lot of advisors do. They've made a huge difference. Um, it's hard to manage $10,000 and have it be meaningful. So the fact that we've gotten donations from people down through the years have allowed us to build our initial investment, which was at $50,000, to over $500,000. And some of that comes from the returns that we've earned on the money, but a lot of it comes from these donations. And also we have the famous bottomless fries, um, bottomless broccoli. Liz is a good professor. It's a full year class and she drives them pretty hard. They have to give presentations. It's a lot of work and, and they do a good job. One of the things that um, our donors appreciate is a lot of schools will take money and there isn't any program that's sort of centered around that donation. What happens is you get a group of students who are enthusiastic one year and they do some stuff with the money and then the next year it just lies there and nothing, nothing happens. Um, we've built a program around this which is very active. Not only do students show up for class, but we frequently have meetings over school holidays. We have students who come in on days where the university is closed. Students will continue to help manage the money over the summer after they graduate. And that level of enthusiasm, I think, is very appealing to the donors because clearly it makes a difference. Uh, one of the really big ways in which it's made a difference is 20 years ago when this program started, we never placed people in nationally competitive jobs or maybe one every several years. Now, a large fraction of the students who come through this program end up working in Wall Street firms or in major companies such as Microsoft and Google and places like that. So I think the donors do this because they care about education, they care about the students, and by making it real, it uh, allows the students to walk into a job with an unbelievable level of preparation. Sorry, <laughs> one other thing I was thinking about is just growth. That gives a new group of students opportunities to invest new money. When we have a portfolio of stocks that everybody likes, what do you do? How do you come up with, if you have a new idea to invest? The only thing you can do is sell something, and that is, if it's something you like, that's not so good. These donations, in particular when we get as much as we got today, really allow us to explore new possible investments. Well, I say if you got some spare change, do it. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy it.